Hello and welcome back with playing against the chess bots and today we will continue with uh, playing against the athletes and we were at Christian so we are going to play Christian Pulisic <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing those names uh, I'm sorry but yeah maybe I pronounce it wrong Christian a 1500 from the United States Puma Ambassador Christian is a star player for the American soccer team. Are you ready to take to take on Captain America? Well, we will give it a shot. Let's go ahead and decide which color we play. Heads is white. Ah, oh, we play with black. Marvelous. So there we go. And all these athletes are so uber aggressive. So let's see if we can uh, play against that. Oh, this is not something I want to face, to be honest. This is, I'm, I'm, I don't want a Catalan. I definitely don't want a Catalan, so I'm going to play here. I'm going to prevent that. Yep. I don't want him to go into a Catalan. Nope. Nope. Uh, no Catalan, no way. What is he doing? No idea. Let's go. Ah, he can, he can, he can push by now. Yeah, he can push by. No, but then I attack. No, there's no pushing by. He has a check, but he's not going to play that. Uh, let's develop a knight, I guess. Yeah, there, there, there he is. There he is. Can play here. Can also defend everything with a queen move. And then the knight is coming in. Nope. Random pawn move. All right. What do we have here? What do we have? I can try to kick the queen out and push for c5. You can also wait with c5 and first try to castle. Kick the knight out. It has no business doing being there in my territory. Get out. Now he takes. Take back with check. Wow. Let's push the pawns. Do we push or take? What do we do? Well, if we take, we can develop a knight to that square. Now the knight is a little bit stuck. But if we push, we have so much space. Ah, what do we do? We can also hop my knight in here. Um, I think this helps him a little bit. Uh, but on the other hand, I, I, I do want to open up the position a little bit. Uh, I can even pin the knight to the queen. And uh, threaten to attack the pin piece. Yes, so something like this. Is this winning a piece? These bots are very tricky, so I have to be careful I'm not blundering anything. But no, I think this just wins a piece. So there we go. So we take. I should have taken with uh, the, the bishop, of course. Um, all right. Do we keep pushing? Pushing the pawns? Why did I take with the pawn and not with the bishop? Why did I do that? Uh, I don't know. Let's bring a rook to the center. The queen is all over the place. Uh, 
All right. Well, the queen is undefended, so I can play here, try to open it up a little bit. I will take with the queen, of course, but that's okay. Um, now I have a move like that. And then my pieces are coming in. I like the look of that. So I can I can I can even play here with the rook. Um, yes. Or take with the bishop. What do we do? The rook is an easy target. This comes with tempo. And I like that. Having tempos available. Now I can bring the queen more centralized. Um, we can definitely do that. I can also attack the queen again. Ah, you can develop, uh, but then I'm attacking the pin piece again. Ah, uh, you can just take that. Uh, he can just take that. All right. Um, yeah, that's 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 an option. The nice thing about it is I'm also putting pressure on that bishop there. Um, can uh, maybe activate my knight off there. That that will drop the pawn there. But then I will pick up the rook. Yeah, I like this. I like this move. Ah, he takes he takes the pawn with the bishop. He takes the one. So he gives up on the uh, on the rook. I can also take the pawn and threaten a discovery check. Uh, but he can just step out of that. He can step out of the discovery. That's, do I take the rook or do I take the pawn? I can also start by giving the check. Now where's the king going? Um, can go here. It can go there. Um, what do we have then? I think I think we are taking the the rook there. I think that's the easiest thing to do. I do want to bring my knight to a more logical square, so let's do that. The threat is to maybe uh, now I can pin the knight. You can also pick up this pawn. Now he's also putting pressure on my uh, on my bishop actually. What about a move like this and uh, threatening to come in with my uh, with my uh, with my queen? How, what about that? So a move like that. Now I'm not threatening anything crazy. Um, looks looks funny, but where's the checkmate then? Well, here here could be very interesting, potentially, right? Could be interesting. That that pawn is pinned, so I can also take this one. 
Um, now he's putting a lot of pressure now on my bishop. I have this move. And if he takes, this is checkmate. So that's not going to happen. Ah, he sacrifices the queen. Okay. Oh, a little bit of lag on my laptop there, as usual. All right, so we are doing good. Uh, do we give the check? Uh, then he just um, blocks with the bishop. Uh, let's uh, activate uh, the rook. The rook is not doing a lot. I am actually interested in uh, sacrificing there. Takes, takes, check. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of that. It's not it's not all calculated, but it's just it, it looks good. I mean, I'm coming in with the queen and the bishop. It just it, it must be good, right? Now the rooks are getting involved. Maybe I can play here, um, or 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 or. Rook here, right? And then we have check here, must be a mate. Oh, he's on the run. He is on the run. Uh, check. Where are you going? He's taking. Now at least I'm winning back a piece. Hopefully a little bit more. Um, now let's let's try to actually calculate this. Where's the, the what's the fastest checkmate? Well, this is, I think, good, but he can also blockade. Uh, then I have this check, which is then checkmate, but he has to take, uh, and then how do we deliver checkmate? What if I go here first? There's a check, he can run. Also give this check. Uh, let's start by this one. At least we are picking up the knight with check if he in the event of, of that. Um, so we have check which is made, so he has to take. Then I have check. Uh, he can blockade. Then I take with check and then he can come up. I don't see the mates. Check. Uh, here. Then this check. Uh, he, he just runs away. He just runs away. It's annoying. Let, let me grab the piece with check. Oh, he's not running away. Uh, how do we prevent him from running away? I don't know. Let's give a check. This is this is the part where I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this uh, in taking away escape squares. It's just not something I'm good at. I'm thinking about this. With the threat of going here. Right? So check. Now he has to play that. 
There we go. That's it. That was Christian Pulisic. Let's uh, see if we can get the accuracy of that game. It was kind of wild. A wild game. Well, the athletes are aggressive. That is what it is. I think we I think we play, played a good game. Yeah. And it was fun. It was fun. That's the important thing. Well, we are getting an 89.8 against 79. And we get an estimated ELO of 2050 against 1600. Well, there you go. Well, that was it for today. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, watching. Please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we will we will be uh, continuing our journey to 1800. Uh, so I hope I will see you back tomorrow, uh, Monday, um, for a new uh, rapid game. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. And goodbye.